Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Amethyst JR Smith, who's the brand new Legendary Path Reward player. Locking in for Diamond Shack here in just a couple days on Wednesday. Super excited about that. Can't wait. But even right now, JR is looking like a monster Amethyst shooting guard option. Another guy who's going to be absolutely lead at the shooting guard position. We have three elite shooting guards right now in my team. Brandon Roy, Tracy McGrady, Devin Booker. And now we are going to have fourth, it looks like, with this JR Smith, because he looks absolutely phenomenal on paper. But before we have of the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 13,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate if y'all do subscribe just over 200 subscribers away trying to hit that within the next few days would really love to do that in the next week or so anyway so without further ado let's hop right into it jr is 6-6 shooting guard 92 offense 84 defense 84 driving layup 84 midi 89 three ball 90 driving dunk these offensive stats are phenomenal 86 ball handle as well uh 78 steel 82 premier 67 interior is significantly better defense than i honestly expected out of a jr smith card this early in the year he is a much better defender than a guy like Devin Booker for example but 84 speed 84 excel 79 speed of ball 85 lateral hook is also really really good he's faster than d-book he's a better defender than d-book and on paper he's just as good of a shooter as d-book so he could be a comparable card Devin Booker depending how good his release is because book has like the best release in the game to be fair but on Hoff agent three and blinders uh 17 gold to include badges like poster either catch and shoot claymore corner specialist dead eye guard up limitless range space creator and pluckable kill a combos pogo stick spin cycle spot finder uh 12 gold silver badges like acrobat slippery off ball handles for days as well as bunny free points and open looks physical handles as well and then bronzes like special delivery unpluckable challenger off ball pass relay passer and touch passer like he looks pretty complete especially as a shooter but as a very capable slasher even a little bit of a defender and a playmaker i think this jr smith's gonna be really good does not have the speed booster badge that is something to keep in mind and i think that will prevent him from being this elite ball handler but he does have silver handles for days wow player builds nice on jr and the movement looks pretty good as well okay so that size up is not great but we can work with it i think uh behind the back eh. so it's between the legs is looking like uh between the legs is a little don't love it but i don't hate it either i could work with that as well his release is nice though jr that was i guess it's slower than it's been in the last couple of years but well that one wasn't that i don't know it's a pretty good release it seems pretty smooth you gotta hold it down a tiny bit longer than i expected but that's because it's not normal i guess i would not say it's slow at all i just got a green well that one thing i will say is i got a green his jump shot i don't know what's going on with that right now uh let me make sure i'm on the right shot timing i am okay so i'm just not shoot, shooting the ball well right now uh there we go all right so jr is definitely going to be a very good shooter once you get his release down booker does have a faster release for sure jr's fade right there with no rt is not that good fading this way definitely a little bit better but still not amazing a little bit slow of a fade as well you're gonna have to hold that one down for for a while probably to green that with any sort of consistency uh, but this release over the top is still very smooth obviously the shooting badges are exceptional on him as well as his stats and everything he's in a very very capable slasher as well as well as a really good defender that's the other thing about jr smith that makes him kind of surprisingly good in my team is he's a better defensive card than i anticipated that he would be especially this early in the year uh i think jr is going to actually be very good i will say animation wise not looking as good as booker but stat and badge wise and defensively does look better you're looking at a guy who's going to be like a borderline top three shooting guard in the game probably like the fourth best shooting guard or so but very very good card and i'm liking this release the more i use it and uh, it's still very very similar to it it's been the last few years so let's hop into a game see what jr can do all right, going up against Amanda has got D Rose, T Mac, JR, Ben Wallace, Magic Johnson. He is a money spender. I have those cards as well, to be fair, though, besides T Mac. I don't have T Mac. So uh, we have a just as good, honestly, I think a better squad with the way that my squad is constructed. We're going to get into our freelance and we're going to see what we can get to work with JR Smith. Use him as both a primary and a secondary ball handler. He may not move quite as well as a guy like Devin Booker, but this is where he is going to shine compared to a guy like Devin Booker is on the defensive end. Unless I do exactly that and literally move myself out of the play to give a wide open three. That is not JR's fault. That is literally me running into a screen like a complete and utter idiot. Stop, pop JR for three. I think I'm a little, nope, I greened it. I don't know why I thought I didn't green that, but that was knocked down. And we tie it up at three, but I definitely need to play a little better defense than I did on that first possession. This dude's name is Trump 2024. Okay. Um, prefer not to make any political statements, but... I don't know what's taking this dude so long in the settings. Just put on your freelance and let's play. Come on, man. All right, we're finally back. He's shooting a wow. He just shot the worst shot of all time with Magic Johnson and got Kyrie fouled him stripping down some. 
Okay, fun start to this game on the defensive end of the court. All right, whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about it. It is what it is. Who really cares that much? Not me. Uh, maybe he missed a free throw. He did. I was trying to leak out with JR, but I had I was on the wrong player accidentally. So uh, attack the baseline here. JR all the way to the rim. 90 driving dunk. Hey, yes, sir. I don't know what he's jumping at with Tima, but JR with another dunk gives him for his first dunk. Another bucket gives him his first five points of the game. All right, let's play some defense here. See if we can get ourselves a stop. Never mind. He's just going to run around with D-Rose. Hey. Dero's 94 speed, man. That's that's an exceptional PG card right there. So get it into Kyrie. Kyrie comes. Let's get JR to set a screen actually here. Behind the back, burst to the left. Let's go. Nice screen. We get downhill. We hit our pop pump fake with JR. Let's go back to the right. We'll fade here. He's got, oh, slow fade though. I told y'all, man. He's got half agent threes, but his fade just isn't very good. It's slow. I don't like that very much. So that is a little bit unfortunate. Good defense by Tatum on the interior though. We're going to push the ball out in transition. Uh, hit it into Kyrie. Kyrie back out to Tatum. Tatum catch and shoot. And it's not going to let me shoot the ball. What? Oh. Reaching foul on Derrick Rose. Well, I don't know what, what I was expecting, but that's okay. Come on, JR. Come set me a screen here. Let's go pick and roll here, actually. Let's see if we can catch you, throw you a lob or something like that. Yo, spacing is horrific right now, though. What are we doing? Um, come here. Let's shoot like a pull-up midi or something. Oh, T-Mac actually got through that screen really well. JR, draw foul. Let's go, JR. That was a crappy offensive possession, but I will take the foul. And the opportunity for some free points. First free throw. Okay. Late 69%. So his rating is actually going to be pretty solid. It's a faster free throw than I thought. And... We knock it down. Sally late 78% goes down. You should make most of your free throws with JR. It's a pretty easy free throw. So should be able to grant it occasionally and all that. He's got his JR. My Scotty Pippen's guarding him though. So that is not a very favorable matchup for him. I lied. That is a very good shot. Wow. That was a great shot. He just missed it. But he, he got a really nice animation there. I'd say pump fake here. JR comes set another screen, please. Somebody sent me a screen. Thank you. Burst here. Let's go. JR pull up. JR four, three. Yo, that's so that's got to be greed man that's a good look dang it's annoying it is what it is it's okay but that is a little bit annoying I feel like i'm wasting a couple opportunities so far this game we're good good deep he made that i thought uh scotty pippen was going to get a contest there and he wasn't going to make that but we're down nine to six right now uh mainly because i just haven't played that well burst here though attack the rim jr all the way to the baseline lays it up and lays it in let's go good finish by jr we get to the baseline and we get ourselves a layup to cut the lead down to one cut off the base cut off the drive here i think because ben wallace really can't do anything else i can actually way help off of ben wallace if he's going to use magic as the screener i'm going to just help off ben wallace a lot so good defense there we go yep that, maybe good we got to stop let's go i wasn't sure if we we're gonna get the stop there transition take beautiful that's 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 a free point right there as well Kyrie, knock down this free throw please yes sir beautiful we get the free throw to go and we are all of a sudden tying in with the ball so now we have a favorable position from being down three points just a couple possessions ago so let's get a pick and pop going here uh attack the ram again hopefully he'll help off he helps off with the wrong guy i don't really want a three with jason tatum but whatever come set this again let's go behind the back beautiful attack the ram jr smith let's Let's go, man. Athleticism showing off. He's got, what, 80-something speed? High 80 speed, I remember. It's 84 speed. That's 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 pretty high for a shooting guard right now. Uh, with a 90 driving dunk, 89 three ball, like, that's really, really good. So uh, let's get another pick and roll here with JR as the screener. Maybe we can get the spacing we want this time to actually get a lob uh, if, if we'll guard it. There we go. I might have it. I might have it. JR Smith. Oh, my Lord. He just destroyed... Oh, oh my gosh, we green that lob right there, and he just absolutely decimated Tracy McGrady. How do I record what happened? There we go. I'm posting that clip on Twitter. Holy crap, JR is a god for that. What in the world? That was That's the craziest contact animation I think I've seen so far this year, at least in a lob or something like that. He just literally put his nuts on JR on T Max face. That was crazy. All right, behind the back here, attack the. Let's do it again. Why not? Yo, J I, was, I, about to, I thought I was about to get another contact. This card is, he's a dunking menace right now. Good contest on his JR, though. He misses that shot. Not well-timed at all. We're going to push the ball up to court. Throw it to Tatum. Tatum, one more. JR Smith, four, three. Let's go. J oh, my goodness. Screens a 45. JR is hooping right now. Holy crap. Loving what I'm seeing out of Mr. Smith. I don't know, man. JR might be a dog. Good contest as well. Play D. Hold up. Get it up. Swing it. Can I, do you have takeover? He does have takeover. Uh oh, physicals takeover. Hey, Jr. Easy dunk. I don't know. That wasn't as flashy of a dunk as I was hoping for, but that is okay. Seventeen point performance for Jr. Smith. Every point except for that transition take free throw with Kyrie. It's looking like I should have missed it. He is absolutely dominating on the offensive end of the court in this game. Definitely one of the better. 
that's a bad foul. Cuts it to a three-point game as well. He makes his free throws. Definitely one of the better offensive shooting guards, offensive guards, period, in the game right now. His movement is not incredible, though, so that does kind of hurt the card. I would say guys like Brandon Roy and T-Mac are a little bit better in terms of their, like, player build and stuff. He and T-Mac are pretty close, but T-Mac might have a little bit faster release. Probably a slightly better card. And then Devin Booker just moves better, and I feel like he's a better shot creator. With that being said, with physicals take over, J.R. Smith is fast. I don't know. He's a dog. I wish he had speed booster. That's one of the things, but he plays some defense as well. He's a top 100% top four shooting guard in the game. You could make an argument to put him higher than top four, and I wouldn't inherently argue with you. Like, I think you could definitely make the argument that he is higher than top four at the position. He is an absolutely phenomenal option in the shooting guard position right now in my team. Attack on the rim here with Kyrie. Kick it out to JR. JR is going to stop. JR is going to go now. He's going to go to the baseline. He's going to pump fake, dump down. Chris Weber, easy layup, and just really really impressive performance didn't start off too hot we we're down nine to six but very very good performance after that outscoring him 13 to seven and uh, we're gonna come out of here with a win or no 13 to no 16 to seven that's what it was my brain is not working jr pump fake you got gold limitless i'm pulling yo we just got bumped by a cpu magic i was gonna pull from super deep try to get a four pointer in the game but that is a-ok -okay. still a good performance for jr finishing with 19 points eight of ten and two of four from three that is really good let's hop back to the main menu Let's review the card. In conclusion, J.R. Smith is a dog at the shooting guard position. He's close to guys like Tracy McGrady and J.R. Smith. I mean, I don't know, or Tracy McGrady and Devin Booker, I should say. I don't know if I would say J.R. is actually better than um, Devin Booker. I think that's tough to say for sure, but he's really good. I mean, you're looking at... The, when you compare him, JR is an inch taller. Offensive stats outside of the three ball aren't, aren't better, but he's a better slasher. Uh, and on most of these, like the post stats, I don't think those matter very much. I'm not worried about him being minus 17 in those. It doesn't matter. Defensively, he's significantly better, like like way, way better than Booker on the defensive end of the court. He's a better rebounder. He's faster. He's got much better lateral quickness. Badge-wise, they're both very good. D-Book has a better release and moves better, but they're pretty close especially defensively it's not even a competition so i don't know like jr is a very very good card in my team he's a guy i'm i'm seriously considering throwing in at the back of shooting guard position i think he's got potential to definitely get some minutes in my squad i didn't lock in t-mac but i think he's pretty close to t-mac too so jr is really really good and i highly recommend him if you're looking for somebody to shooting guard position in my team is another great card to add to the collection as well if you are going for shaq and Shaq, speaking of, will be coming on Wednesday. Can't wait to get y'all gameplay with him and see if he is the best center in the game. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.